I want to bring back this idea that we just stated. We just said that mi ci times delta t plus mw cw times delta t, and I should say this is delta t for iron, this is delta t for water, is equal to zero. I want to expand this out. Instead of saying just delta t iron, I'm going to say t2 minus t1, okay? So I'm going to say mass for iron times ci times, instead of saying delta ti, I'm going to say t2 minus t1 iron. And notice I didn't say t2 iron, because we said earlier that t2 and t2 iron and t2 water are all going to be the same. So I'm making that simplification right away. Plus mass of water times the heat capacity of water times t2, really of water, but I'm just going to call it t2, minus t1 for water is all equal to zero. Now you guys know your distributive property, so you know that I could multiply through the brackets. And that's exactly what I want to do. Multiply through the brackets, so this is going to get huge in a second, okay? And if you get ahead of me, get ahead of me. But we got to do MICI T2 minus MICI T1I plus, and multiplying through the second set of brackets, MWCW T2 minus MWCW T1W, all equal to zero. Now, I want to make a comment. Collect the T's. So I want to collect like terms. I should maybe sh say, collect the T2's. So I'm going to take this guy here and this guy here, and I'm going to put them together. So I say, MICI T2 plus MWCW T2 minus MICI T1I minus MWCW T1W, all equal to zero. And now I want to take the T1s over to the other side. And you end up getting, oh my goodness, this is getting huge. MICI T2 plus MWCW T2 is equal to, when it goes over to the other side, it becomes positive. MICI T1I plus MWCW T1W. Now, factor the T2s out. I know it's crazy, right? It looks like a bunch of gibberish. Very important idea, though. I want to factor the T2s out of these two terms over here. T2 comes out front, and it leaves behind. Well, what's left behind if I factor the T2 off of that one? MICI? Miki? And MWCW? And now, whether you're aware of it or not, it is not against the rules to do this. I can divide both sides by a binomial. To get T2 all by itself, I could divide both sides by this binomial. MICI plus MWCW. And those guys would cancel out. And on this side, I get the binomial left over in the denominator. MICI plus MWCW. So I get the final formula, after it's all said and done, that if I want to calculate the final temperature for one substance submerged in another substance, and in this case, I for iron, W for water, it's MICI T1I plus MWCW T1W all over MICI plus MWCW. Now, I would like to sub in the values we had previously. And I'm going to give you a chance to sub them in. I want you to work with a partner. I'm going to give you the answer. You see if you can get it. Okay? So the answer, based on the values I gave you previously for iron being submerged into water, is 33 degrees Celsius. You'll know you did it right 
if that's what you get. Okay?